I want you all to close your eyes and imagine the perfect day outside. The birds are singing. It's nice and warm. There's a wonderful breeze. So what's the thing that you would probably do? Well, if you like motorcycles, you'd go take a ride on your motorcycle. You're just riding along, enjoying nature, not paying attention to anything around you except for the road ahead. And then all of a sudden, bam! You fall off your motorcycle. You have no idea what happened. What's this pain in your head? It hurts so bad. You wore everything. You wore the correct gear. You wore your leather, your boots, but you forgot your helmet. I'm here to tell you why I believe helmets should be a law in every single state. So I will first talk to you about the helmet facts and laws. Why some people find helmets unnecessary. Why helmets are actually necessary. And a story that will teach you a lesson about the importance of a helmet. First, we'll talk all about helmets. The motorcycle was invented by a German engineer in 1885. He didn't invent it for speed, he just invented it for something to ride other than a car. Over the years, the motorcycle has evolved, and that's when people started riding them for speed and to just go out on a joyride. It wasn't until 1935 that a man named E.T. Lawrence, a British archaeologist and scholar, died in a motorcycle crash because of a head injury. That is when Anne Des Mortardas, the leading e-commerce store of motor accessories, decided that it was time to create something that could protect your head when you were riding a motorcycle. This came from a Satori article. So, the helmet laws. There are currently 19 states and the District of Columbia with strict helmet laws. You cannot go anywhere on a motorcycle unless you are wearing some sort of helmet. There are 28 states who only have certain helmet laws. So, like, you can't go on the interstate on a motorcycle unless you're wearing a helmet. Stuff like that. And there are three states that have no helmet laws. One of those states happens to be Iowa. Here in the green, you will see the universal law, meaning that you have to wear helmets. The blue is the partial law. And then the white are the three states, Iowa, Illinois, and New Hampshire, who do not require you to wear helmets while riding a motorcycle. This came from Motorcycles IHS. So, after reading an article by Leonard Gordon, 11 Reasons Why to Not Wear a Motorcycle. A survey was taken by a ton of motorcycles and the top reasons why they don't like to wear helmets. I picked a few of my favorite. There isn't a helmet for the rest of my body, so why should I wear one for my head? Well, your head is very, very precious because inside of there is your brain. And your brain can, it's your control center of your whole body. So if you affect your brain just a little bit, it could throw off a whole bunch of your body. Wearing a helmet makes it harder for me to see while riding my motorcycle. That is false. Helmets have been made so you are able to see clearly. You just have to turn your head like you normally would if you're riding a motorcycle without a helmet. It's impossible to hit your head when falling off your bike. That is also false. When you fall off your bike, your head has to hit something. It will give you helmet hair. That's my favorite. And the last one, wearing a helmet while riding a motorcycle makes you look very uncool. I'd rather look uncool than risk having a brain injury for the rest of my life or potentially dying from a brain injury. Now, there are multiple reasons on why you should wear a motorcycle, uh, motorcycle helmet. The biggest one, it will protect you and save your life. Accidents happen, and if you get in one and you hit your head and you're not wearing a helmet, there's a possibility you might not survive. But wearing the helmet makes that possibility a lot less more likely to happen. Motorcycles are less stable than cars. 
So it is easier for a motorcycle to tip. And if you're in a car and you're in a car crash, you have the insides of the car to kind of protect you. If you fall off a motorcycle, you have nothing. In 2017, the number of motorcycle crashes were 20 times more than car crashes. 77% died from a head injury. Helmets are 39% effective in preventing deaths from injury of a motorcycle accident. And 67% is effective in preventing brain injuries in a motorcycle accident. This also came from Motorcycles IHS. More reasons to wear a helmet. Set an example for your child, your friends, and your family. An example has to start somewhere, and you can be that example. Tell them that it's safe to wear a helmet, and it's honestly not cool not to wear one. Avoid high medical bills. If you get in an accident and you have to stay in the hospital longer because you have a brain injury, you're going to have a lot more medical bills to pay. Avoid tickets for breaking the law. There are helmet laws in states, and if you just decide not to follow them, you're going to get pulled over and you're going to get a ticket. Not only protects your brain, but it also protects your face. There have been people who have been in motorcycle accidents and they've fallen on the concrete and they skid and they get burns on their face and it stays like that forever. There are also some pretty cool helmets to wear, despite the comment about helmets being uncool. This came from 10 reasons why to wear a helmet. If I haven't convinced you yet, I have a little story to tell you. This is my Uncle Doug. He's my godfather. I grew up with him. I love him dearly. 2008, I was at home, about ready to go to bed, when my mom rushes out the door. I have no idea where she went. My dad later tells me the next morning that my uncle was in a motorcycle accident, hit and run. He had nothing to do with it. He wasn't wearing a helmet. He was in a coma for 30 days, and he's severely brain injured. He does not have the mental capacity above an eight-year-old. He doesn't understand things. He wasn't home for two years because he was in rehab, trying to relearn skills that children learn. He doesn't know how to do simple math anymore. He doesn't know how to write. He can't use proper grammar. It's just almost impossible for his brain to exceed that next limit. Here's another part. My uncle was diagnosed with stage four lung mouth, throat, and thyroid cancer. He is currently in hospice care, meaning that he has six months or less to live. He doesn't understand that he's going to die. His brain can't process that. I'm not saying wearing a helmet would have prevented the cancer because cancer is just cancer and it sucks. But if he would have worn a helmet, he might have been a lot better conditioned than he is now because it's just scary thinking of a person who is in hospice care and about to die and they have no idea. So, to sum it up, I've talked to you about the facts about helmets and laws for them in states, why people choose to wear helmets, why people, why people choose not to wear helmets, and why it is important for you to wear helmets and the benefits you get with wearing one. An important story and lesson on the impact a helmet can make in your life. I may have not changed your mind, but hopefully I've opened some doors on the reasons why helmets are important. Thank you.